Hi guys, welcome to Sports Talk with Mo. It's your girl Mobala and I'm excited to be here today. I'm your host and we have a lot to talk about in the sports world, specifically soccer, but I want you guys to stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, guys. As I was saying earlier before, we're going to be talking about soccer. As you all know, the Champions League final is set between Real Madrid and Juventus. Of course, Real Madrid uh, went on to knock out uh, Atletico Madrid 4-2, and Juventus on the other side knocked out Monaco 4-1, so they're both in the final. This is actually Juventus' um, third time in the final. Um, they lost in 2015 to Baca, and back in 2003, they also lost to Milan. So it's really exciting to see both teams in the final. So my question is, who do you guys think has the final edge? Is it Real Madrid or is it Juventus? I personally would give it to Real Madrid just because, of course, number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo, he's been playing fantastically well. I mean, he had like two hat-tricks in this tournament. He's been playing absolutely lights out. And I just don't see how Juventus can really stop him because once he starts attacking and just starts scoring goals, it's like, it's lights out, you know. So my prediction probably is 1-1, to, at the end of regulation and then they go to extra time and then Ronaldo just scores that winning goal to get it 2-1 but again we can't just of course we can't forget about Juventus I mean they've been playing really really good I mean the legend Buffon has been amazing even at 39 playing you know with so much heart it would be really nice to see him lift that trophy you know and win it because I think this is like the last one that he hasn't actually won so it would really be good for him and I'm sure his team are rallying to really win this uh, final for him so that would be really really good to see so you guys just let me know like who do you who do you give the edge to is it Real Madrid or Juventus so just drop your uh, answers in the comments below so moving along we're going to be talking about my team Manchester United um, where do I start? I mean, I've loved this team from the days of Beckham, you know, David Beckham and stuff. But right now, they're just not doing good at all. Even with Mourinho, you know, this is his first season as the head, as the manager. I thought that he was going to be good. I was so excited. I was actually talking to my friends like, oh, we're going to win this year. We're going to finish top four in the Champions League. Because we haven't been in the Champions League since saw Alex Ferguson retired. So it's really frustrating that even as I speak right now, we are in the sixth position on the table for the Premier League. And again, we're going to miss out on Champions League. But one positive, we are in the Europa League final. So that's exciting. So it's just, it's, it's been a roller coaster this season. Oh no. Rate of 1 to 10, what would I rate this season? I'll probably give it a 6. I mean, there were some positives and definitely some negatives. I would definitely say that with the record transfer of Oba to Man U, that hasn't really materialized with Ibrahimovic. So hopefully next season, the team can mesh well and, you know, really play well. So we're going to stop right now. So you guys just stay tuned. We'll be right back after this. All right, welcome back, guys. This is all we have for today. Thank you for tuning in to Sports Talk with Mo. I'm your girl, Mo Bola. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments behind. Um, we're going to be talking about a lot, a lot going on in the sports world, from NBA to NFL to soccer to baseball to tennis. So make sure you guys stay tuned, okay? All right, see you guys at the next video. Bye.